Welcome back to another video. Today, I have a project that I would like to do. We have a coat tree upstairs that just takes up a lot of room. And it, we just pile coats all over it. And it looks just like this. It's a mess. It's got coats everywhere. So, what we're going to do today is I'm going to make us a nice little coat rack to hang near the front door. Well, the door we go out anyway. It's a side door. Um, I know that I had a whole plan of making a ceremonial mule near and I haven't finished that yet. Well, there's a reason why I haven't finished that yet. I'm out of hemlock. I don't have any more hemlock, so I'm going to have to figure something else out because I went to drill the hole in it. See? And that happened. So, I'll, there's a good chunk of wood here. I'll figure out something to do with this. Um, but that's, that, that's shot. That piece is, is no more. Um, so, I've got a big chunk of wood that I'm going to cut down. I've got some dowel rods to use. And I'm even going to put a couple screws in it to hold, to hang our keys on. Um, make it kind of fun. And I'm also going to not wood burn it, but burn the wood. It's a type of finish. I don't, I don't know if you know that, but if you do, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Um, if you don't know what that is, I'm going to show you what that is. I, I, I did a little schematic this morning. Very little. Hmm. So it's going to be two feet by four inches tall. It's going to have four dowel rods on it because there's four people in my house. Coat for each of us because the weather's warming up. We don't have to wear as many coats as the big coats and stuff. And I'm going to put two screws in it in the center to hold our keys on. Sounds fun, yeah? All right, so I'm going to have to cut it down to length and then cut it down to width. And for that, I'm using my circular saw. It's quicker. I don't know why every time I say that, it sounds like I'm drunk. Circular saw. And we'll pre-drill the holes. I'm going to plane this too. Yes, I'm actually going to plane this one. So this might end up being a long video. I'm going to see if I can cut it, how much I can cut it down. But runs that way. Okay. I mean, just need to feel the grain direction on it. I'm pretty sure it runs that way. I'll hit it with my planer and we'll know for sure. Oh. Well, let's get to it then.
you can see me properly. I've got to cut down mm, old oak barn wood. And now that I've cut it down, I can see inside of it better, which is which is important because you want to see if there are any weak spots that are going to split and stuff. Because on old barn wood, it is very fragile and brittle because it sits there for so long. But this actually looks pretty good because I'm going to pre-drill all my holes and everything. Yeah, and I'm physically going to mount this to the wall. So that should be fun. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so... See which way the green direction is going. I think the green direction is going. Out. So if if you are wondering why I'm not using my vice on the bench, there's a reason. Because I bought a cheaper workbench, it has problems. There's a crack in the vice itself, like in the main meat of this piece right here. And let me. You can't really see it, but there's a crack that runs. There you go, you're right there. Right through that knot. Of course, it's a knot. And it runs all the way back, too. So I'm probably going to take this assembly off, make a new one of these, and put this all this back in it. Which is going to be a whole job. So, all right, so now we're going to get up. We're going to come over here. And I'm going to plane this out. So, to do this properly, I oh, not like that. I'm going to do it a little bit at a time. There we go. So I've got the grain running the wrong way. Okay. It's all right. Sorry about the shake. So yes, so yes, that's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so I've got it kind of, I've already planed a little bit of it to see because I wanted to see where my, which way my grain direction went. And it seems to be running this way. So you got to go with it. Otherwise it'll, it'll just tear it to pieces. I've got about half of it done. So now, let's move these. Something I decided to do is I barely got my blade out. Barely. And the reason why is I'm just taking a little bit off at a time because I don't want to end up tearing it up too bad. Okay, so it went from this rough stuff to that. Beautiful, smooth. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, is I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to plane the other side because I don't know which side I'm going to use for it yet. So there's that. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I went ahead and I marked and I'm going to round the corners off. So there's no sharp edges. And then we're gonna drill some holes, put some dowel rods in and burn it. Okay, so now 
we've got to figure out our layout for the mounting holes. Yeah. How we're going to mount it. And that's going to be fun. Fun fact. It, it truly, truly will be. That's what I'm going for. That. That. I need my pocket hole for that. Okay. So. Now I'm thinking. We'll come down. It's four inches. So. We'll come to two. Nope. Give me that one. Let me sharpen my other one. We'll come in two. And then we'll come in one and a half. So that'll give us a nice little spot right there. Right there. To drill into. Yeah. So down two. Right. And in an inch and a half. Okay. So you cut down two right there. Then. Okay. okay. Now we need to do the the holes for the dowel rods themselves. Yeah. So, I'm coming in. Yeah, I'm going to do this. An inch. Alright, I'm coming in four inches. And eight inches. Yep. And then it's going to be Four inches, eight inches. These are where my dowels are going to go for the ha for the coats, and then I'm gonna have to get my other tape measure for this. Make sure those line up. Kinda, not really. So. and 20 yep all right and then 10 what I've got here is 10 and a half and 13 and a half and that centers everything up really well so it's spaced out properly these two are the keys keyholes for the keys then I figure out how far up I'm gonna go We'll go inch. On all of it. Let's make it easy. You know? I worked too hard yesterday. I spent the day replacing decking boards. And then I got a burn barrel from somebody. And I had to cut the lid off, and I couldn't find my sawzall, so I had to cut it off with a jigsaw and a wood blade. That was dangerous and dumb. I just want to point that out. Okay. Okay. Yes. That worked. Now, if you're wondering why I did a, a pocket hole... Where, the, where this is going to need to be mounted is right at the door that we leave out all the time. And I need it to go through. Because I have these screws and these anchors. And there's no studs where these screws are going to be. Because there's only one stud in that wall because it's really, really small. So I've got anchor and a screw, and that's going to have to go through and work. So, 
because I'm gonna have to mount it directly because with there's no studs, I can't hang it like a picture. All right, so they're not secured. I didn't get that far ahead, but I have some really nifty little screws. Let me go get one, I'm not using this. These are called trim screws. I've always known them as hideaway screws because this head is so small that it just disappears up in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try this. I've got more dowel if it doesn't work. But I am going to pre-drill into these just a little bit here. And I'm gonna run one of these screws up through the back and secure them in that way. Now, before I get too far ahead, I gotta try it. It worked. I've got to sand it all down, so it'll be okay otherwise. But it worked. That's good. Now, we can pre-drill all these. Okay, now I need to put a couple screws here. For that, I'm quite literally just going to use she rock screws. All it is is to hold a key or a thing of keys. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so now I need to sand it, but I'm gonna do it by hand. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the video, and then we'll get to, we'll burn it.
so it has been burnt now. It's pretty cool, huh? That's my torch I use to clear my driveway with every winter. It's very, very useful. Um, but it's still warm. It's still warm. Uh, now I'm going to put the she rock screws back in for the keys. And then I'm going to hang it. Oh. Okay. Well, we're ready to hang. Well, there we go. It's hung and it looks wonderful, doesn't it? Um, so my shop is an absolute mess now. Dusty everywhere. I'm gonna make my kid, my oldest boy, come help me sweep it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's. I'm very happy with it. It was a quick little dirty job and turned out surprisingly well. Um, but that's about all I have today. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to hit the notification bell, like, subscribe. I am going to go use my burn, my new burn barrel and get rid of some boxes. I'll see you.